Hey everyone. So about a month ago, I did a deep dive video into the Puerto Vallarta real estate market where I compared some of our recent stats in PV during 2022 with similar stats in the overall U.S. market. The goal was to take a look at the downward trend in U.S. housing prices and increases in inventory and then check if the Puerto Vallarta market was seeing or at least starting to see some of these same downward trends. If you didn't catch that video, I'll put a link to it in the description below. But the main takeaway is that we were not, in fact, seeing any impacts from the U.S. downturn. That's not to say that we won't see them in the future. And many of you pointed that out in the comments of the video. My opinion is that although we'll likely see some effects in our market, perhaps uh, leveling off of prices or a small inventory increase, I believe that we're not going to see the large price drops and inventory increases that some of the most overpriced areas in the U.S. are already seeing. But admittedly, I'm a real estate agent here, so you'll want to factor that in when you're making your own assessments and conclusions about our situation. So let's dive right into the update. In the last video, we looked at three stats in the Puerto Vallarta market, and we compared some of the trends that emerged from those stats with similar trends in the U.S. First, we looked at the year to date, January through October, total sales volume in Puerto Vallarta over the past several years. I pointed out on that chart that after the slight pandemic related dip in sales in 2020, we had an absolute record year for sales in 2021. And furthermore, we were on track in October of 2022 to beat the 2021 record. So here is the updated chart for November of 2022. And you can see that our total sales volume continues to remain on track to beat last year's record breaking sales. So in this particular statistic, there's not yet an indication of a slowdown in our market. Next, we compared the U.S. median sales price trend to the trend we're seeing in Puerto Vallarta. If you guys recall, the U.S. median price started seeing the effects of interest rate increases and inventory increases in May of 2022 and at that time began what is now a downward trend in prices in the overall market. And when I pulled up the latest Redfin stats for U.S. median sales price, we see here that in fact the downward trend continued. For comparison, I also showed you on the same chart the median sales price of properties in Puerto Vallarta. And here we also saw that there had been a recent decrease in prices last month in October. But I pointed out that the PV real estate market is very seasonal that October is the end of our low season and that we typically see a drop off in prices during that time with a rebound of prices in November. So this statistic was particularly interesting to me. Would we see a continued decline or leveling off of prices with the new November data or would we see an uptick in prices consistent with our normal seasonal market? And the answer is the price rebounded just like we expect in a normal PV market. So this is another good indication that at least at this time, our market has been unaffected by the U.S. downturn. And finally, the last statistic we used to compare U.S. and Puerto Vallarta trends was months of inventory. Remember that a rise in months of inventory puts downward pressure on prices. I'll just cut right to the chase here. As you can see in this chart, the latest months of inventory in the U.S. increased by about 12%. Whereas in Puerto Vallarta, months of inventory, which had leveled off at one of its lowest points in recent years, did not see an increase and continued at its low level. Okay, so I wanna keep this update relatively short, so I'll end it here. My takeaway from these trends is that currently our market continues to chug along without any impact from the US market showing up yet in our numbers. And I'll reiterate that Although I think a sustained downturn in the U.S. and Canada will eventually have some effect here, I believe that our market will weather this storm pretty well and we are not a target for the large price drops that some markets in the U.S. and Canada are undoubtedly going to see.